Hi everyone, this is your friendly neighborhood money girl and I'm back again with another video on how to put your money right. So if you'd like to join me on this journey towards wealth creation and learning to make wiser decisions about your money, do subscribe and keep on watching. I don't know why it has taken me this long to make this basic yet very important video. Today we'll be talking about the various investment opportunities that you can seize in Ghana with as little as 50 CDs or as much as the millions that some of you have. So if this is something that you'd be interested in, make sure you like this video, comment how you are doing or how your money is doing and let's get right into it. In this video, we are going to be talking in detail about treasury bills, some low risk investments, some high risk investments, certain types of mutual funds. We'll also talk about certain uh, investment apps that you can use in Ghana and my all time favorite farm investments. First on our list is treasury bills. Treasury bills are short term debt securities that are issued by the government with guaranteed repayment after a short period of time. Simply put, the government is going to issue a treasury bill when it needs to borrow money for certain uh, developmental projects like roads in your neighborhood over a short period of time. This type of low risk investment is called a bond, where the investor loans a certain amount of money to a borrower, which in this case is the government, and will receive their return after a short period of time. And guess who can lend this money to the government? You. Typically, T-bills have maturity periods of 3 months, 6 months, and 1 year. And they are said to be the safest form of investment because they are totally risk-free and backed by the full faith and credit of the government. So with as little as 5 CDs, you can buy a treasury bill from your phone with Ecobank. All you have to do is dial star 770 hash or you can call their customer service line or you can just walk into any branch at all. Data Bank also has a treasury bill option that you can also uh, buy from your phone starting with as low as 100 CDs. You don't even need a bank account to start these, you only need a mobile money account. Other banks such as Republic Bank, NIB and Cal Bank are also said to have very high interest rates when it comes to treasury bills, so make sure you do your research and choose one that best suits you. Treasury bill rates can range anywhere from 12% to 20 something percent, so make sure you do your research and choose a good bank that will be able to do a very good bidding for you. Next up is fixed income funds. So when we talk about funds or mutual funds, we are basically referring to a group of people that pool their monies together to collectively invest in certain securities such as bonds and stocks. A fund manager, typically a bank, will manage this fund on behalf of the people. And one example of this is the fixed income fund. When you invest in a fixed income fund from any bank, what's going to happen is they're going to pull together all these monies from various unit holders just like you and invest the total amount of money into a variety of fixed income securities like bonds, treasury bills, government bonds and certain government debt securities. The risk here is typically low because like I mentioned earlier, they are risk free and they are backed by the full faith of the government. And secondly, your monies are going to be spread across a diversified portfolio of these treasury bills and bonds so that your eggs are not placed in only one basket. Ecobank has a fixed income fund where you can start with as little as 50 CDs and continue to deposit as little as 20 CDs from your phone at any time. Their interest rate is about 17% per annum. Do check what uh, offers your bank also has. Certain banks may also offer money market funds instead of fixed income funds. Although they are similar, it's said that money market funds are usually safer, so just make sure that you inquire from your bank. The next thing is equity funds. So equity funds also kind of work in the same way as the fixed income funds I had mentioned earlier in that it's a pool of capital from various people and it's also spread across a diversified portfolio of securities. However, in this case, the portfolio is going to be made up of high risk securities, aka stocks. Now let's break this down. So when somebody says that they're a shareholder of a company, it sounds like a really big thing, like they have invested thousands of CDs and dollars into the running of the company. Technically, this is true because when you buy a share of the company, you own a certain fraction of the company. And this means that you are entitled to a certain percentage of the company's assets and profits, proportional to the amount of shares that you own. So all these shares are collectively called a stock, and you don't need a lot of money to start. So how can regular people like us own shares of a company? So you usually hear people talking about the stock market, right? The stock market is basically where investors come and trade publicly listed shares from companies. So for instance, we have the Ghana Stock Exchange, on which is listed uh, companies such as Farm Milk, Anglo Gold Ashanti, and other companies uh, from Ghana, which you can invest in. 
and this type of investment is typically risky because your money basically depends on the performance of the company if the company does well your money does well if the company doesn't do well your money doesn't do well if you'd like to be more hands-on with trading you can open a trading account at any licensed brokerage in ghana i'm going to put a link in the description box below but i won't really go much into that but for beginners like you and me who might not have a lot of money or uh, might not have a lot of technical knowledge on this there are banks and institutions that would do so on our behalf and that's where the equity funds come in. So the bank is going to invest all these pools of monies that have come together to form the equity fund into various stocks from different companies. And this is slightly more secure than you investing into the shares of only one company because the fund is going to be diversified across various stocks from various companies. There are a lot of apps out there that help you manage all your investments from one place. Some apps allow you to buy shares and stocks from massive companies like Apple, Tesla, Etsy, etc. One example of such apps is Robinhood in the US. They allow you to invest in certain companies listed on the US stock exchange. Luckily for us, there are some upcoming apps in Ghana that will allow us to also trade in big companies in the US stock exchange. One of such apps is Investica in Ghana, which will allow you to invest in companies in the US stock exchange. I'm going to put a link in the description box below so you can join their waiting list for when they launch their app there are also other apps for people who live in nigeria or have bank accounts in nigeria like get equity and bamboo i recently came across a ghanaian app called cd manager that allows you to buy risk-free securities like bonds cocoa bills treasury bills corporate bonds and things like that i'm going to put a link in the description box below they are going to launch their app soon this is extremely convenient because you can manage all your investments from different issuers all in one place on the app Last but not least, it's my personal favorite, crowd farming. Lately in Ghana, there has been a rise in agro investment opportunities where every Ghanaian is allowed to contribute to supporting certain farming projects in Ghana. So with a little money, a mobile money account and a bank account, you can also contribute to supporting farmers in Ghana via your phone. And you receive your return at the end of the farming cycle, which could be anywhere from five months to two years, depending on the type of crop that was planted. One of such companies in Ghana is Full Stock Africa, which I have spoken extensively about in two videos. So do check those videos out if you haven't already. There are also such companies in Ghana, such as Complete Pharma, Grow For Me, Quidex, and Farm360. I'm going to put uh, links in the description box below as well. There are different types of investment opportunities for you to try out, some low risk and low return, some high risk and high return. It's important for you to have a diversified portfolio that includes all of these ones. So make sure you don't frown upon some seemingly small investment opportunities because those ones might end up being your saving grace one day. Also remember to be extremely patient when it comes to growing your money because typically the longer it stays, the larger it grows. Also, full disclaimer, I am not a finance expert yet. I am just your friendly neighborhood money girl who shares tips as I also learn. So make sure that you do your own research, contact your bank, and choose the investment opportunities that best suit you. Check out all my other videos on farm investments and 10 principles about money that you need to know. If you're new here, make sure you check out all my other videos on money, personal development, and mental health. Share this video to anyone you think might need it, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!